I think UCL is at the vanguard of sustainability through uh, educating the next generation of business leaders and politicians uh, to the research we undertake, having influence over some of these massive global challenges and also uh, being a demonstrator of what you can do with your operations. Our entire culture, all our stories, our greats of adventures of the past have been based on pushing into the unknown and the problem is we live on a sphere, we're running out of the unknown and we're going to have to face up to that and it's going to involve some pretty big questions. And UCL specifically being a Benthamite institution has been completely wedded to societal transformation and justice and doing the right thing. So I think we've got the intellectual firepower, the motivation and the capacity all in one place to do something extraordinary. So a lot of my research is focused on how environmental change, like climate change or land use change, is impacting ecological communities of wild animals. Biodiversity and, and loss of biodiversity is critically important for human health and well-being and it's an intrinsic part of uh, living on this planet. Well, sustainability for me is inextricably linked to the material world around us because everything is made from something and that's what we study and manufacture here. So my research area at UCL is to develop self-healing materials. And if that sounds ridiculous, here is a piece of self-healing concrete. This gets cracked, there's small bacteria inside it that know it's cracked and they rebuild the concrete inside here. Several years ago, I realized that this department was actually using about 200 tons of water every day. It's a staggering amount. It's essentially equivalent to the department's foyer being filled with water. The first thing we did was really to raise awareness. And once there was an awareness, we were able to get lots of members of staff and graduate students to modify the way they actually operate. And by taking these simple steps, we were able to make really an enormous change to this department's performance. Well, at UCL we have a great initiative called Green Impact um, and our office participates in the Green Impact Awards and I think we can all play a part in thinking about sustainability whether we work in academia or in professional services, there's always something we can do. So our department does a lot to do with sustainability so we're actually just won an excellence award through the sustainability team, we're very proud of it. So we have a series of different themed weeks. One of them is in the Environment Week and we ran it in collaboration last year for the first time with the um, UCL sustainability team. There's lots of different workshops, um, there's um, events where people who actually work within the sector currently come in and talk, answer questions to students. The students and professional services staff have been involved in, the, in a number of other issues. Then there's this thing called Excellence Projects where it's focused on what the departments can actually contribute and what they think is their strengths. That's where we've been involved in the last uh, three or four years where we've used the expertise of our academics to do a variety of research projects. So I'm Yara, I'm the treasurer of the UCL Conservation Society. Urban biodiversity is a big thing, so that's one of our key aims is to get people to know what there is around here, even in the squares five minutes from campus. UCL tagline is, as London's global university, now, that's indeed correct, and it's doing things globally, but it's also, in a very real sense, Somerstown and West Houston, local university, and therefore, both in research and operation, need to be committed to the local community and give something back. So we're on the roof of 22 Gordon Street. Uh, this is a project which we completed two years ago. Uh, and what we have here is the solar panels which we installed on the roof and this is all part of our approach to managing energy across the campus. One of the challenges that London has is that when it rains all of the rainfall goes straight into our drains and our sewers. Green roofs are an example of effectively turning the city into a sponge so that when it rains the green roof soaks up some of that water and slows it down in terms of its release into the sewers and drains. Global challenges to do with sustainability, as we all know, are going to take a huge amount of action to overcome. It's not always about looking outwards and researching those changes, it's also about incorporating those changes into what we as a university do, to practice what we preach. The Vice Provost has taken a leadership role to actually illustrate to people in this department that sustainability is important and it is at core of how UCL operates. We have, I think, over 40,000 students, and if we can all do something, our environment here will be greatly improved. How far we travel and how we travel when we do travel all contribute to our personal impact. Take the stairs, not the lift. Get yourself a reusable bottle or mug. Even if it's just a small thing, it doesn't matter. It's something small, it's important. 
I think this century is the one where humanity really wakes up to the fact that our planet is finite. This is what we've got and this is what we've got to work with. And if we don't work out a way to make it sustainable, this is all of our problem.